see those so whichever color you choose would be your grout or the color you'll see between your final tile alright now that we got that done then you take whichever color you want your final tile to be in a 2x2 two two. and I'm using a I believe it's dark tan and you start putting them on the stud putting it on a that hole and snap that into the stud. And just continue that until you have them all covered. And this is how you get your diagonal tile. I don't know if somebody else has already done this on YouTube. If they have, I haven't seen it. Alright, now we got all them on there. Just kind of straighten them out a little bit. Get them somewhat decently lined up and then you take your old handy dandy credit card or whatever you have laying around and you just kind of put it in there and wobble it back and forth and it straightens them out real nice. Turn it go the other direction. And then we get our diagonal floor. And then the yellow, you can barely see it. You can almost see like four small dots, but once you're looking at it in your little house, you'll never see it. So the jump plate, whichever color you use, it doesn't really matter. And then you see how the tile overhangs a little bit. You just take these one by two blocks and just put them in between the tile. Fill that gap. Let me see. Alright. Over here just be a one by one block. We got that done. Just take two by whatever plate. Let's see how I did this. Let's snap it on there. And you see, gives you a nice clean look going across there. The only downfall of this design is you have openings where the points of the tile stick out. But what I do is just I build my wall on the outside and then that will cover all these little, these little holes. And then when you want to transition from tile to say carpet, all you do is just take another plate with the color you want to be the carpet. Press it on there. And then that gives you a good transition from your tile to say carpet or you could add some hardwood or even go more tile on there in the opposite direction. And then for the wall, I already assembled the wall to save some time. I'll snap that in there. Then you cannot see the side of your floor anymore. Don't carpet. Hang on a second. 
that there. That's just to help hold my carpet up for a second. Quit knocking it off. Alright. Then this is just, say, a small kitchen. So you just throw your cabinets in there. Stove. Side the sink. Throw your sink in there. Put your refrigerator. Another section countertop. And then you have nice diagonal tile floor in your kitchen. 